In this video, I'll be going over an example of the distributive law. So if you look at A intersection B union C, that is supposed to equal A intersection B union A intersection C. So if we can, if we decompose this equation and look at, uh, let's start with A intersection B, then that equals singleton 3 based off from these predetermined sets. And then if we look at A intersection C, that equals the set 1, 3. So the union of these two is going to be the set uh, containing elements 1 and 3. Now if we look at B union C, that equals the set containing elements 1, 3, beta, and gamma. And if we take the intersection of that set with A, we're left with the set containing elements 1 and 3, which is good because now we've shown that this is equal to that. Now if we look at A union B intersection C, that's supposed to equal A union B intersection A union C. So if we analyze B intersection C, that equals singleton 3, and then A union B right here equals 1, 3, x, beta, gamma. And A union C equals the set containing elements 1, 3, and x. So when we take the intersection of these two sets, we're left with the set containing elements 1, 3, and x. And when we take the union of B intersection C with A, we're left with the set containing elements 1, 3, and x, which is exactly what we wanted. So, yay, we've shown that these are in fact true. 